Welcome to Yogaya Routine for Menopause, Graceful Maturity. Sit up nice and tall. Find your center. Starting with a cooling breath, close your lips tightly in the shape of an O, and as you inhale, Imagine that you're sucking a heart into your center and as you exhale, bring your thumbs to touch, your fingertips pointing up, release the energy outwards. Cooling breath, inhale, picture this heart as you're drawing it into your throat. Exhale with a sound of like a bumblebee. Inhale through a narrow tube, creating the figure O in your mouth, drawing and painting the heart with your hands. Exhale, push the air away through the heart, hands into Ka Mudra, harnessing the power of divine femininity. Again, imagine you're inhaling and holding the air like a helium balloon and then you're deflating it outwards into the space around you, cooling the breath and cooling the mind, finding your center, creating space through your cells to receive new information. Press the hands away into Ka Mudra. Dig in, expand outwards. Come to the center of your heart and push the energy away. Hold here. Hook your pinkies, point your thumbs up to the sky and down to the earth. Plug one thumb into your navel and begin to circle your pelvis, your shoulders or even. Warming up the hip joints, creating a circular spiral flow through the body, igniting Kundalini Shakti, the energy of creative femininity. Reverse the circle. Hook the thumbs the other way, pinkies together, thumbs pointing up and down, plugging into the navel, stimulating the second chakra, the center of sensuality and creativity. Reverse the circle, transferring your procreative powers into creative expansion and inspired growth. Come back to the center, point your fingertips down, sweep your arms through the back of your head and down into the earth. Hug your hands from the inside, bring your knees into your forehead, lift your feet off the floor and hold here just for a moment, containing the energy in. Open your hips out, splay the knees, Open your arms, bring your hands to the top of your mat, come onto all fours, rippling forward and back through a gentle child's pose and a cobra. Find the circle and the spiral in your spine. Inhale and exhale, inhale and exhale. Allow some free play here. Round up and then continue to spiral and ripple through camel pose, dropping the hips down and lifting them up as you circle the arms back and front. Clasp your elbows, open your heart, open your chest, lift the sternum. Allow yourself to receive this moment and the joy that it brings. 
clasp your hands, open the shoulders, bring your fontanelle into the floor, and circle, massaging your fontanelle as you gently open the shoulders. Soft circles through the hips, the torso, the shoulder blades, activating all the glands in the body, rewiring your system to attune to this rite of passage. Bring the hands in front of you, gaze up, warm yourself through Cobra again, and back. Open your right knee, plant your right foot into the floor, gently release your hips into the left heel, and with your hands, push your knee away. Gaze up into the sky. Lateral stretch as you open the hip, release all stuff that you have been harboring there. Right hand forward, left hand forward. Drop the knee and now massage your hip, opening the knee out, circling it and closing it. As you articulate from the metatarsal, bring the foot forward into a lunge. Push the knee away and gaze over to the other side. Again, opening the hip, making sure your shoulders are even. Exhale, contract. Move your face to your knee. Feel the stretch for your mid-back and IT band. And again, push the knee away, gaze over the other shoulder. Finding the inner growth in the asana. Hands down, curl the back foot under, come through a pyramid pose. Try to square your hips here. Your back knee is slightly bent, your front foot is flexed. Ground deeper. Bend your right foot, heel and arch intersect. Come into warrior two. Take the serpent ka mudra, pointing up and down to the sky as you circle your arm and you bend your knee. Find a crescent here, opening up the main meridians of the body to facilitate the flow of prana through every cell. Readjust your hips, square them first. Plug your thumb into your fontanelle and open your heart as much as you can. High lunge. Reach the arms up. Clasp your hands to the right. Open more, gently readjust and hover into side moon pose. Finding your balance here as you press in opposite directions. Lower your left foot down, flex your right foot, hinging at the right crease of your hip. Lower your right elbow into your right knee and open your heart. Twisted triangle, your hands pressed together into your kidney. Then bend your knees, slide your right forearm into your left knee and twist your gaze further up into the sky. Feel the inner spiral guiding you into the movement. Hands frame the front foot, lift your back leg, square your hips as much as possible. Bend your back knee, grab the foot with the right hand, sit gently and twist your gaze over to the right. A modified flamingo pose here. Deepen the breath. Lower down onto your left sitting bone and then plug the right sitting bone. Hook your arms into eagle and hold your thumb. Twist to the right, activating the right side of the body. Fueling creativity through your life. Come back to the center. Lift your elbows up, shoulders down. Gently twist your gaze over to the right as you twist your hips to the left. Lower your left arm down. 
bring the calf over your elbow and come into this side diamond pose. Holding here, opening the hips. Extend your left leg forward. Holding the right foot with the right hand, reach the left hand up into the sky. Twist as much as you can. Soften through your ribs. Take Jnana Mudra, the mudra of wisdom and knowledge. Plant your left hand into the floor. Bend the front knee. Hug your back leg with the opposite hand and press your front hand into your left knee. Twist your gaze over to the left, opening the shoulder and the hip here. As you gently release into the twist, gaze over to the left. Deepen the breath. Hand into Jnana Mudra, opening up to the wisdom inside. Lift up, press your hands into the foot and the thigh, then forward, readjust, soar your left leg up into the sky, opening the hip, and step the foot through between your hands, step the right foot, hug your ankles, fold over your legs, then gently place your hands under your soles crisscrossing them and dive deeper down, stimulating the right and left brain hemispheres. Take a hug, squat as much as you can and twist to the right. A variation of twisted chair. Center, twist to the other side. Come back to the center, round up, reach your arms over your head. And then through the center, again, sucking the energy of love into your cells, rippling and undulating like a flow of uninterrupted movement. Fold over your legs into a swan dive, right leg back, left leg back, downward facing dog, forward plank, Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. Contract to the right. Twist, come back through the center. Lift your left leg up, press into the right thigh, contract and twist. Back to the center. Circle the knee out as you massage the sole of your foot. Energizing the whole base. Then gently sit into your right heel. Readjust your shoulder so that it moves into your knee. Press both hands into the left knee and push it open as you lift your gaze up into the sky. Connecting to the earth while opening the hips, releasing all tension there. Walk your left hand forward and your right hand. Circle again. Open the knee more and step your left foot forward into a lunge. Push your left hand into the left knee, gaze over your right shoulder. Twisting your gaze finding the oppositional pull and then contract, swirl the energy into a cocoon inside, head to knee. Open one more time. Find your own range of motion here. Try not to push. Just feel the flow. Come back through the center. Pyramid pose, bending the back knee slightly and flexing the front foot as you square the hips and you lengthen your lower back. Deepen the breath. Readjust your feet, spinning the back foot out. Circle your hands through a warrior two stand, hooking the pinkies and finding the serpent mudra 
pointing up and down. Shift forward into a high lunge. Plug your thumb into your fontanelle, activating the hypothalamus to navigate the healthy secretion through all the glands. Hold here. Open your heart. Bring your hands to the left, palms pressing together. Open your heart more. Shift your weight forward. Find your balance into half moon pose variation. Flex your back foot. Open the heart. Rotate your hip out externally. Feel a long unbroken line and then bend your right knee. Flex your left foot. Hinge from the hip. Lower your elbow into your knee and gaze up into the sky. Bend both knees into a squat. Press your left hand into your right knee. Your right hand moves into your left thigh. Twist here. Opening up into this Shakti position, fueling the Divine Feminine as you come back to square hips. Lift your right leg up. Find neutrality in your spine and hip. Bend the knee. Clasp the opposite foot with the opposite hand. Left hand to right foot. And twist into flamingo pose, bending the knees. Finding the stretch through your hips and IT band. Lower down through your knee, shin, sit bone. All the way into an eagle clasp. Hold your thumb. Twist your gaze to the left. Go a little deeper if you can or stay here, enjoying the swirling energy that moves from your center of creativity up into your throat, your center of expression. Twist your gaze to the left, your hips to the right. Point your hand up into the sky. Release the bind in the mudra. As you drop sideways, bring the knee crease into your upper arm. Allow the soles to kiss into side diamond. Lift your gaze up to the sky. Extend the right leg forward. Readjust your hips as you square them, holding your left foot with your left hand. Reach your right hand up. Come into Jnana Mudra, the mudra of maturation and inner wisdom. Press your right hand into the floor, readjust the hips, and swing your left leg back as you clasp your left foot with your right hand. Press your left hand into your right thigh. Bring your gaze up and over to the heel, lower onto your elbow. Take Jnana Mudra again. Twisting here as you open the hips, the quad, and the shoulder. Deepen the breath. Twist a little bit more. Press the hand into the thigh. Feel the back bend here as you come to the center. And gently transition. Curling the back foot under. Reaching the right leg up into the sky and opening the hip. Hold it here. Expand through the position. And exhale. Step your right foot forward and your left foot. Bring your hands under the soles of your feet. Crisscross them the other way and sit as low as you can. Stretching your lower back. Yogic toe lock. The big toes with the pointer and the middle fingers and go a little bit deeper. Into this forward bend with a yogic toe lock. Cooling the body's temperature. Cooling the mind. Calming the nervous system. Round up through a ripple again. Bend the knees and ripple. Enjoy the undulating movement. Like a serpent, clasp your elbows, open your heart, 
anchor through all the corners of your feet. Feel stability and acceptance. Interlace your hands, open the shoulders as you squat down. Sit as low as you can, your back is flat. Lower the hands down, hop your feet back into a downward facing dog. Deepen the breath, immerse yourselves into your cellular system. Every cell is deprogramming. Your brain is rewiring knees down, fontanelle to the floor. Find your way to a gentle headstand. Either stay here with the toes curled under or gently bring your knee up your upper arm. If you wish to go a little bit further, try the other way first. Bring your left knee over into your left arm and then try to find the balance. Both knees stack up into the upper arms or stay where you are. Lower your feet down. Walk your hands forward. Counterpose this headstand with an open polar bear lizard, pressing your thumbs into your chin, opening up your throat. Finding freedom of expression, bring your hands to the floor. Hop your feet forward into a deep squat. Hug yourself. And gently bring the elbows into the right knee. Make sure your left heel is plugged into the floor and then go the other way. Left knee. Come to the center. Reach your hands behind your pelvis. Readjust your hips. For a shoulder stand, kick your legs up over your head. Hold your mid back with your fingertips pointing to your tailbone. Bring the right knee down. Either stay here or bend both knees and take your left knee over your right sole of the foot. Release both knees down. Take it on the other side, curling the right foot under, bending the left foot and bringing the knee into the floor. Gently twist your neck over to the left. Lift the left foot off the floor and find your way in stacking your right knee over your left sole or stay where you were in a classical plow. Curling the toes under Lengthen your spine, reach your hands to your toes, and slowly roll down one vertebra at a time. Keep your spine as long as you can. Lift your head, slay your knees open, interlace opposite elbows one more time and open your heart here in receiving Shakti pose. Finding the openness, the acceptance, and the integrity. Bring your knees together. Bring your right foot over the left, your left hand into your right. Hug your knees. Come into your internal body, your calm interior and gently extend your legs and arms over the head. Lengthen as much as you can. Flex your feet. Reach your head up and fold over your legs into a deep forward fold. Hold your soles or go a little deeper making sure the forward bend comes from your hips and not from your lower back. Fold a little deeper. Surrender in this divine flow. Accept the energies of revival as you hook the pinkies of your hands into the pinkies of your toes. 
Lengthen your spine. Point your thumbs up. And ripple up one more time. And again, rippling, undulating, flowing with grace and power. Bring your hips to your heels and slowly ease down. Lift your hips up into a bridge pose. Anchor down vertebrae by vertebrae until you come to the tailbone. Open your hands, open your feet. Allow yourself to receive. Yield your weight firmly into the ground and let the earth's breath infuse your body with golden yellow light. You are recalibrating every cell to vibrate at an enlightened and mature frequency. You are letting yourself be breathed by Mother Nature and accepting the gift of the wild wisdom she brings. She is reweaving your DNA to prepare you for the next rite of passage. As you inhale Trace a string of golden yellow light piercing your spinal column and connecting your navel, throat, and third eye. Your innate creativity, authenticity, and inner vision have aligned. You feel a revival through all the glands. The earth's breath now nourishes and tonifies your entire hormonal system. You accept and love your revived and enriched self. Your procreative organs are now surging to a new wisdom and inspired creativity. Let go of the sense of urgency to fix or change things and accept the powerful insight that percolates every cell. With every breath, you are reclaiming the wise woman in you, along with all the strength, confidence, and knowledge you gained so far. Stop focusing on what you have lost and discover all you have gained. Your body is strong and supple your bones are dense and solid. Your joints are limber. Your mind is agile and lucid. All your hormones have rewired to resonate with your new stage of maturation. Rejoice the rite of passage, the ripe and meaningful curves of your life. You are open to learning and growing. You can easily adapt to thrive through this new exciting stage. You're ready to get out of your comfort zone, to venture on a quest, to retrieving your true power. Cherish all the wonderful opportunities for personal growth and transformation now. How do you intend to age? Examine your life and figure out what's working and what's not. Focus on yourself after years of taking care of others. Reassess your life. Find your new enhanced purpose and see how you can think big and give back during these years of maturity. Your body is now calm and relaxed, resonant and joyful. You have the freedom and confidence to enjoy life. Your procreative fertility has now transformed into a creative ecstasy. You're relishing the stage of a second childhood. Experience the joy and innocence, the spontaneity and radiance. 
you are no longer caught up in responsibility and duties, chores, and unexpected glitches. Delight in all the meaningful occurrences. And from that place of delight, wake up, open your eyes, bring your hands into the heart and over your head, pressing them into the floor, come up to sit, find the new you that's been there all along, now blossoming, plug your thumb into your fontanelle as you hook the pinkies together. Hook the pinkies the other way. Twist your gaze over to the other side. Find the balance and the grace. Plug both thumbs into your fontanelle and gently allow this energy to spring through your heart and give it back into the earth. 